Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu Alaikum. Salar Khan here, and today we start the new topic that is the counters. All right. The name of the topic is counters. Okay. Now, what is a counter? You know. So, as by the name it is clear, it will do what? It will count basically okay and it is it is a sequential circuit it is what it is a sequential circuit that does what that counts all right so this definition could sound a little confusing but you know what count is it can count you know let's say the first I say it's a zero so the next would be what it would be one then two, then three, and it's a sequential circuit. That means that the, this this present state depends on the value of the previous state. As we've already seen, I think before that let's say if I have to count from zero to five, okay. So if I am let's say the position number three. So if I don't know the position number three, how can I go to the position four? So that's the problem. So which means we need the previous state, and that previous state when we use it. Uh, in order to get the new state with the help of the present inputs as well. So that is what? That is in the sequential circuits and that is what you know basically. So this is a sequential circuit that counts, all right? Now this is also called a, a frequency divider circuit. Frequency divider. I'm not explaining it here. This is going to be explained in the very next video, all right? We'll see how is this dividing the frequency. In this video, we start off with, with the general introduction and now we see the, the types of counters, all right? Types of counters. So there are two major types of counters. Uh, number one is asynchronous. I hope the spelling is right. And the second one is synchronous. Or I believe I missed a U over here, okay? So the spelling doesn't matter, you can check it out from the book. So we have these two types of counters, asynchronous and synchronous. Now what is the difference and how do we design counters? How do we design? We design them with the help of flip-flops, all right? So let me write over here, design with what? with flip-flops counter or design with flip-flop and flip-flops are what we have seen before all right now asynchronous and synchronous so you know the number of flip-flops in counters now in asynchronous we have what so let me first draw a a, a what let's say two flip-flops all right two flip-flops so I and let's say they are JK flip-flops JK and the outputs you have Q and Q complement all right Now what do you have you know that you have a clock we have a clock All right, and now you know the representation of the clock all right this bubble sign shows what this shows the negative edge triggering This whole sign shows what this shows that it is operating on the negative edge Which also we've seen before now, what do we have for the asynchronous counters? For the asynchronous counters, we have an external clock given to the first flip-flop. All right, an external clock is given to the first flip-flop. And for the second flip-flop, we have what? The output of the first flip-flop acts as a clock to the next flip-flop. Which means this is the case. In asynchronous, we have we have what? Let me let me write down uh, the the comment uh, the, the the differences. Let's say asynchronous, and over here we have synchronous. So in asynchronous you have what? You have uh, the clock of the first is given to the, the the output of the first is given as a clock to the next output of a preceding flip-flop is given as 
clock to the next flip-flop all right this is let's say the first point okay now in case of the synchronous counter synchronous counters what do we have so let me draw uh, some two more flip-flops let's say the same JK flip-flops having outputs Q and Q complement all right J, K, Q, and Q complement. Uh, now, what do we have in this case, all right? In this case, the same clock pulse, the same external clock pulse is provided to all the flip-flops, all right? Now, if you have a third flip-flop, the same clock is given to that. In this case, if you have a third flip-flop, so the output of the second flip-flop is given as a, as a clock pulse to the third flip-flop, all right? So what do we have in case of this synchronous? We have that uh, 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 the same, all right? The same external clock is given to all flip-flops. All right, so this is the major difference. This is the first point, all right? Okay, the next difference is what? The next major difference is the speed. So the speed of the asynchronous is slower, all right? Speed is slower. And over here, the speed is faster. And why is that? So I'm not writing it here, and I'm explaining it. Now, the speed is slower in case of the asynchronous because, because first you have to wait for the output of the previous flip-flop. Now, you give the inputs to the first flip-flop, let's say, it will take time to operate it. It will take time to operate over it and give you an output. Now, this output has to be given to the next flip-flop. Now, until, until and unless the, the, out, the first, uh, first flip-flop has provided the output, the second cannot operate, which means it has to wait for this flip-flop. Now, when this is given a clock pulse, it will take some time to operate and give an output to give a clock pulse to the third. So, which means the third has to wait until the, end, the second and the first has both given its outputs. So, now this is what? This is wastage of time. Whereas, if you see in this, in this uh, particular synchronous counters, so you have what? You have a clock pulse given individually to each and every one of them. So you have what? Each and every flip-flop has its individual output, whose value does not depend on any other factor. All right? So in this case, we have the speed is a little faster. All right? Okay. So, so this is what? This was just a general, uh, general uh, uh, what? Comparison between these two. Now, these are the two major types of these counters, all right, the two major. Other, uh, you know, other minor types, I could say, let's say I categorize it further, counter both synchronous and asynchronous. Could be classified into a number, a, a three, three more a further category. All right, so the first is the up counters, up counters. Now, as the name suggests, it will count up, which means the next state would be higher. Let's say it counts from zero, the next state one, two, three, and so on, which means it is going higher and higher. The next was be the down counter. And the down counters are what? It go, counts from a specific higher value up to zero, all right, which means it decreases. So let's say seven, six, five, and it comes up to zero. And the third, we could say, is the up-down counter. And what does this up-down does? So this is the combination of the up-counter and the combination of the down-counter, which means that it, it counts up to a particular level, then it counts down. What are these? Stay tuned. We'll be explaining each and every one of them in a great detail. For me, that's enough for today. See you in the next lecture very soon, inshallah. Till then, take care of yourself and everyone around you. Goodbye.